My son, Seth Quast, is an artist, and he paints day and night. There's no way to stop him. It just pours out of him. Seth is autistic, and that's just a small piece of who he is. The main thing of who he is is kind, gentle, sensitive, funny, and creative. When Seth was 18, we were told he could be a janitor. I said no. Seth started to paint when he was 20. Now he's 32. We have something like 750 paintings in the house and another 100 out in the world. Seth paints like the way apples fall off a tree. There is no way to stop Seth. When Seth paints, he is absolutely amazing. He knows exactly what he wants, and he is as certain about paint and what he wants as he is lost in the real world. Because Seth was autistic, he was dismissed. And this has happened to all of us. It has nothing to do with autism. All of us have been told that we're not good enough all of us has been told we'll never make it. Everybody has focused on what we cannot do instead of what we can do. I tried to bring Seth into our world for years, and then I realized I have to go into his world. His world is better. His world is a world of magic. He just lives in a better place than we do. For Seth, the canvas is a membrane between him and the viewer. It's like the beating of a heart. And Seth paints because he wants you to see his painting. And he's reaching out to you. He's talking to you. Seth wants all his paintings to heal people. He says, Seth's art will make people feel all better. Autism is an epidemic now. What I would say to any parent is never give up. Never give up. And I'd say that to any parent of an autistic person and any parent of any child in the world. You have no idea what your child is going to do. The gifts can come at any time in your life. Seth is not the poster child for autism. He is the poster child for hope.